All right. Our B4. <laughs> Level B4. B for what? B for bennies. Yay. <laughs> There's all our bennies vehicles for the moment. So, yeah. Very cool. Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Missing Sock. Welcome back for more Grand Theft Auto Online. And down here in my nightclub garage for B for bennies. And I've got one blank spot, so we're going to fill that today. Yeah. That said, I'm probably going to break these up a little bit because uh, I'm probably going to want more bennies vehicles than just the 10. I think. Let's take the Benny's truck. Take it outside in the sun. I think there's some sun out there. Let's go see. Yes, there is some sun out here. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> this thing's crazy. It's a lot of fun. A lot of torque. Um, not a lot of, of traction at all. It takes forever to come to a stop. But it sure sounds good. A lot of fun to drive. <laughs> well, we should probably call our car before we get to our garage. Because I'm going to call it over to Del Perro around the corner there. So today we're going to get ourselves the um, Vapid Chino Custom. Yeah. So we've already got a few low riders, And I'm going to get some more in the future too. And maybe something faster too if I can in the coming days. Yeah. But um, uh, it is low riders, low riders Week this week. So there's a lot of uh, discounts right now. So I think you can get 40% of discount on any Benny's conversion. So that counts for any Benny's vehicle. And certain ones also have another 30% off too. Lots of people talking, hanging out. <laughs> Everybody's in a great mood in Los Santos. <laughs> Bring up our phone here. So you can find the Chino on the uh, Travel and Transport, and you can find it actually on two different websites. So you can find it on Legendary Motorsport, and we can find it on Benny's. And we're going to read the description on both actually. So it actually came out uh, with the Ill-Gotten Gains Part Two update a long time back, and uh, it's one of the last updates for the old generation. So the old generation can actually get this car, but not the Benny's version of it though, not the custom version we're going to get now. So there it is, right? Oh, nope, nope, that's the Virgo. Another low rider. Yep, Chino, you know, right there. Babbage, you know. Part of a gun gains, part two. Seats two. All right. And it's 225000 normally. And right now it's on sale for 30% off. 157500 So it's not too expensive as far as uh, cars go and low riders go. But Benny's has a way of costing a lot with all the little extras. <laughs> Babbage, so this car, before we read into that, um, you know, in black, you guys can really tell the style, especially with a uh, convertible style. It's very similar to uh, to the car used by uh, by uh, President John F. Kennedy. So <laughs> it gets a little dark from here when you're reading about that. John F. Kennedy was a tennis fan and uh, a womanizer of sorts and uh, was also a statesman. So keep that in mind when we read this through. The Vabagino. Whether you're planning a game of tennis, an orgy, a literal bloodbath, or all, of the, or all of the above, there's ample room for it behind the tinted, soundproof windows of this true American classic. Pop the trunk to, build in a, to find a built-in power hose, custom engineered to remove blood, fecal matter, and regret from the panda belly leathered interiors. The choice of the statement, statesman. That's pretty dark. <laughs> Maybe we'll get it in black. Why not? Yeah, we're probably going to change that, though, although I am tempted to get it just a nice black one. Looked really good, I bet. Order to Del Barro, just across the street from us. What's All right. Oh, I forgot to check the other description. So oh, you can also uh, order yeah, it from look, Benny's. I know I'm a few months late and there's Benny's favorite. website right here. Stock. And these are all the Benny's cars here. For those of you who want to know what, where is all the Benny's cars, well, here's a way you can put them all together right on this website. Now, our Chino is right here in green. There we go. And it gives a slightly different description in here. The Chino may be as close to perfection as a car can get. <laughs> but then, would you deny your wife a lifetime of cosmetic surgery just because she's naturally beautiful? <laughs> a car this size has room for every modification known to man. So if you don't force your extravagant taste on every timeless inch of it, you may as well move to Europe and die of treason. <laughs> Eligible for customization at Benny's Original Motorworks. <laughs> I love this thing for that. It can just burn its way everywhere. Let's head into the garage and grab our new Chino. 
So this is the stock Gino. And like I said, you can get, actually get these on the old generation of the game as well. On the old PS3s and uh, Xbox 360s. And of course, all the new generations as well. But to do the Benny's thing that we're going to do, you have to be on one of the new generations, the PS4s or the Xbox Ones or the uh, PC version. Yeah, so this is basically a 60s two-door coupe. That's a muscle car. And it's a 1965 to 66 Lincoln Continental. So most people consider it to be a 65 Continental, but because you can get it in the uh, the, uh, the lowrider version with the, uh, the convertible top, it becomes more of a 66 Lincoln Continental. Yeah. Now this is a uh, collector's car, just so you guys know. I'm going to tell you that right off the bat. This is not a good performing car. <laughs> this is for cruising. This is for uh, showing off in your garage. This is not really for anything else. Um, unless you want to race other chinos or something. But yeah, it's a very low performing car. And uh, the customization we're going to do today slightly improves it. But only slightly. There it is. Very cool. I also find this car to be very similar to the uh, Men in Black um, car, both from the original movies and from just the, uh, you know, just the mythical uh, thought of the Men in Black, kind of like CIA operatives, I guess you could say. Maybe even hitmen that are watching you, following you. If you did this all in black and tinted windows, it's got that, that dark effect. That contract killer from outside the state. <laughs> to me. Yeah, let's hop in, hear what she sounds like. I think she's got a good sound. We'll see. Ooh, nice purr. That's just uh, stock. There's Vapid Chino. Fancy, fancy Chino on there. Fancy decals. All right. Well, let's take it over to Benny's. Which is not very far away. Gives us a chance to check out the stock version. It's a very wide car, as you guys can tell. So again, it's a cruiser because with a wide car like this, you have a hard time slipping between the traffic, you know? You can try, but it's difficult. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Now, Benny's vehicles nowadays, you can do those at the Arena War, uh, at the Arena property, as long as you buy a property and you've uh, hired the Benny's mechanic. But otherwise, you can just go to Benny's, which is where we're going right now. I haven't been there in a little while, so I think I'll just go there in person today. Maybe if I get something else like that Banshee R is what I'm thinking about, the 900 R. It's a race car. Ooh, well, look out. <laughs> Maybe if I get that, I'll, uh, I'll uh, do the arena war for that. Yeah, nice, simple, retro interior. Not a lot of pickup. Just around the corner from Benny's. Yeah, so it came out with the old Gotten Gains update, and then shortly thereafter, that same year, I think uh, like it was like summer of that year that it came out, and then later on in the year they brought out the Lowrider version with the Lowriders update. With the first Lowriders update. And that brought out Benny's, which is where we're at now. Benny! <laughs> be quick, what you need? Oh, we're not going to be quick. Definitely not going to be quick today, Benny. <laughs> but he doesn't mind. We spend like $30,000 on a steering wheel in here, so I don't think he minds. It's probably pays for his retirement <laughs> every car or two. Okay, repair. It's the best I can do. All right. Thanks, Benny. All right. So there's the uh, upgrade. So we might as well get that out of the way with. Chino Custom. Now, this should be on sale. Yeah, there we go. The star just disappeared for me. So, uh, normally, it is on. It is a $180,000 conversion, which is actually pretty cheap for a uh, bunny's car. And right now, it's on for 40% off, so we're getting that for $111,000. Ready? There she goes. Bam! There she is. Oh. Chopped and low. <laughs> yeah, low and slow with this one. All right, armor upgrade, 100%, 30,000. Definitely want that. Brakes, race brakes for 7,000. say stop, she'll stop. Yeah, we'll see. But she probably will, she doesn't go very fast. That uh, slam van that you guys seen at the beginning there when I'm driving that, oh boy, that thing does not stop at all. It takes like a block and a half, two blocks to stop. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun to drive though, but definitely terrible, terrible traction. Front bumpers, custom chin spoiler. Hmm. That looks nice. Well, there's no other options than that, so I'd pick it. 
Yeah, now this one today, I might get some other low riders in the future too. We still have to get a Voodoo maybe, and uh, Virgo maybe, and uh, the Banshee RR, and a few others too, I think. So, and some bikes maybe. But this one I'm thinking of maybe, oh, we'll see, I might uh, might fancy it up, but I'm thinking of a nice classic uh, cruiser. Something to, you know, hit the highway and just drive around for a while. See the sunsets. Something like that. So let's see, before we get into the fancier options. And I was thinking about making it a convertible, which is not my usual thing. Well, not the convertible, I guess you could say open top. There's a difference. Convertibles, there are some convertibles in the game that actually work, but a lot of these open top ones do not. Like, that's either a roof or no roof. You can get the custom roof too, so you guys can see that nice mesh fabric roof. Or no roof. Or the stock um, with your paint job, and we'll show the liveries roof. Yeah, so I think I'm going to change to no roof. Just think second guessing, is there any libraries before we do that? Yeah, because libraries can show up on some roofs. So you guys might want to see that, so I'll, I'll look through these first. So I was hoping there's some pinstripes. I had a hard time figuring out, uh, finding out ahead of time if there was any libraries available for this. I imagine there was, but I wasn't sure. Yep, so there's their classic blue pinstripe, classic white, which is a nice simple library, decal. Outline blue pinstripe and gold pinstripe. Thick blue striping. Nice. Thick red striping. Gold furiously floral. Hmm. Blue furiously floral. Purple furiously floral. And that's all of them. It's not too many with this one. Well, I will come back to that in a moment then. Lots of options here, which is great. Not all cars have uh, the same options in Benny's. Some of them don't have uh, hydraulics. Some of them don't have various other things like speaker upgrades. Okay, so I'm going with no roof. Nice open cruiser with this one. I'm thinking something like a like a like a pink Cadillac kind of metaphor, you know? I don't really want a pink Cadillac myself, <laughs> but a lot of people know the idea of a pink Cadillac. It's just kind of like your, your uh, nice, huge, open-top cruiser. And to me, it kind of is a low rider of sorts, I think, kind of. Different one. But I'm not going for pink. <laughs> not this time. Jazzy. Oh, the tank. Where's the tank? Right there. Secondary color tank. And chrome tank. Well, I'm probably going to chrome it up, I imagine, because it's going to be all chrome underneath and you won't be able to change that color anyway. So, chrome tank for 7,140. Thanks, Benny. And there was no other, no back bumper, okay. Engine. Engine tunes, we'll get that out of the way with. Level 4, 6,700. So, at least that's nice and cheap for those tunings. Engine block. Alright. V8. Painted ribbon covers, ripped covers, VA chrome covers, chrome ripped covers, and painted livery colors. Covers. Hmm. Painted ribbed. Painted livery. Let's have a look at those air filters. Now there is some hood options I believe too, and if you get the triple intake bug, bug catcher or anything like that, it hides these air filters. So you may not want to get an air filter if you're getting one of the hood options like that. But I'm not too worried about it, we'll see. Hmm, all of them look good. Vertical ramp pipes and twin air filter and chrome air filter. I think I'm going to go with the twin air filter. 20,808. Twin air filters. Yeah, should I do my respray? Not even sure what color to use yet either. What colors do we have? Primary, secondary, and trim. Lots of options of bitties. Chrome. <laughs> so, might as well see it in colors anyway. There's it is in black, of course. And carbon blacks. Getting into the silvers. Dark steel. Silver, bluish silver, stone silver, 
which is nice. Midnight Silvers. And the Reds. There's a red. Torino red. Looks nice in the red. Sunset red. Cabernet red. Wine red. I was thinking about maybe a wine red. Hmm. A few different options for this car. Salmon pink. <laughs> Feister pink. Speaking of pink Cadillacs. <laughs> Sunrise orange. Not bad. Orange, bright orange. Gold. And I was thinking about maybe something like this too. A bronze or a copper or something like that. Yellow. Race yellow. Two yellow. Dark green. Racing green. Sea green. A little bit of coffee. Always helps. Sea green's nice. Actually, that goes really well with that. Nice classic look to it. Mmm. Mmm. Lime green. <laughs> Midnight blue. Again, a lot of the colors look great on this for being an old classic car. Light blue. Chocolate browns. Bison brown. Creek brown, Feltzer brown, Moss brown, Wood Beach brown, some of the fancier purples, bright purple, cream, which isn't too bad, like an off white in the light, ice white, frost white, lava red, and hot pink, gasoline green. Hmm, that's a hard one for me to decide. Because I do like a lot of those colors. But sometimes you have to see a car, like like we just went through, see a color on a car, to know what you're thinking. You can think ahead of time of a certain color, but sometimes you get there and it's not quite what you thought it would be. But this one's a hard one to decide. I liked a lot of the, the midnight blue. It was really nice too. And a lot of the beiges and coppers. Harbor blue. Kind of like a blue and a silver. Hmm. There's a midnight blue. That's very fancy. Kind of gives it that shiny edge. Side. And I was looking at uh, that that one color we were just looking at, but there was another blue that had my eye too. Had yeah, the midnight blue. Hmm. Maybe it was a sea green. I do like that, but I don't think I'm going to go with it. Well, like I said, it's a hard one to decide, and I like a lot of the reds, but I think I am going to go with that, uh, that midnight blue after all. Seems to be the one that speaks to me the most. Yeah, I think I'm going to give it some white pinstripes too. Now the secondary color. Hmm. Trying to figure out where it is. Right now it's just seats. And I'm not really seeing anything else change. So we'll leave that for now. Trim color. Yeah, the entire interior. Wow, the whole thing. So we'll come back to that too, I guess, then. Okay, so I know it's a little bit of back and forth, but sometimes it helps to pick your color first, because then you don't know what options you want, or if you want it in secondary color or not, or things like that. Yeah, we were looking at these. Painted livery covers. 
And I think that blue is better than the black was. Black was nice though, but the blue on the silver looks better now, I think. I think I'm gonna get that painted lever covers, 32,000. Done. <laughs> exhaust, dual exit exhaust. Nice, 750. All right, explosives. Mmm, she likes those exhausts. We're not gonna get explosives. <laughs> Fenders, stock fender. Oh, there we go, curb feelers, right there. And fender skirts body color. It's all these little skirts down here. I guess you can't have both. Well, that's very low rider-ish, but I think I do like the, uh, the fender skirts for the classic look. That's the look. Mm -hmm. All right. Hood options. So, like I said, if we pick these, it hides our air filters. So I might actually want to leave them off. It's too bad they don't give any other hood options with this car. It is tempting. It's got a basic horn that we heard when we were driving around. <laughs> but do I really want to give it anything fancier? Yeah, the jazz is tempting, but nah. <laughs> nah. They, they get annoying really fast when you add them on there. They're fun for a little bit, then not so much. So, hydraulics. Standard pump. Chrome pump. 75,000. Quad pumps, four in a row, 120,000. Quad pumps, two by two, 150,000. And quad pumps, V-pattern, 165,000. Nice. That's a nice clean look on the quad, on the quad pump V-pattern. $165,000. <laughs> That's more than the car itself. <laughs> Benny makes a killing in here. A killing. Okay, that's all our interior options, so maybe we'll come back down in a moment. Lights, headline, headlight, headlights, and will I take this to the arena? Nah, no, just get on lights for now. Only 3,000 for this one, which is nice. Don't need any neon kits for now. Our plate. License plate. Mizzen Zock. There we go. Yellow on black for now. Okay. Plate holder. There we go. Not the best view, but it'll work. So, Colfest, oh, Golfist. Yeah, Golfist. I was going to say Goldfist, but no, Golfist. <laughs> Twisted. Low and slow. Which I might put on here. It is low and slow. Barbed wire. And Hawaiian, Davy Jones. Oh, yeah, these are the same ones that are available on some of the cars. Chain, Magnetics Chain. Bike Chain, Flaming Skull. And Pitbull and Flames. Magnetics Classics. Well, Hawaiian's tempting. <laughs> it's a California cruiser. Kind of. But I think just keep, keep it low and slow. Yeah. How that look? So 5,900 for that tiny little bit of plate holder. <laughs> Vanity plate. Which covers your front license plate. get a Benny's one, Benny's logo, in different colors. Albany, DeGlassie, Willard, Vapid, and a bunch of the sports teams. Hmm. It's like a showroom car with the Vapid on there. But I think it's okay with just, well, I guess it just needs the back plate anyway, right? This is debatable. Probably not needed at all.
Yeah. Hmm. I think I might give it the Vapid logo. I have no idea why I'm going to do that. But I'm going to. And throw away 14,000. <laughs> but it's done now. It's done. Roof, we've already chopped the roof off. Transmission. Race transmission for 8,000. It's nice and cheap options for that. Trunk. Speaker box shelf. Square speaker shelf. So we can upgrade the sound in this one. Which means that you can actually um, send sound out into the world. Like when you kind of come across a radio outside, your car can be that way. So you can pull up and, and play the radio for all the surrounding people for like a block or so. Depending on the range, but yeah. It's kind of a cool function, cool little extra about the uh, about certain lowriders. Surround speaker shelf neon. I think some of these do light up a little bit. Twin sub trunk install and neon. And triple sub trunk install and neon. That's cool. Lots of different options. Well, sound is good. Probably going to keep our trunk closed most of the time anyway, so we'll put in the uh, triple sub trunk. Why not? 23,994. Alright, turbo for 30,000. Gotcha, Wheels, windows. Don't need to. Oh, yeah, it's got little side windows. See those little side windows? So we'll tint those for 5,000. <laughs> Limo dent. All right, and that's it except for the interior and our wheels. So maybe we'll have a look at those wheels. Wheel type, hmm, Benny's bi-spoke. Chrome wires. I always thought those were kind of nice with the details, like some of these, but I never really had a car that I thought it went really well with yet. I think the closest I had was a Tornado that I had way back a long time ago. But maybe we've got a good car for it here. Mm, we'll see. Chrome classic wire. Yep, so lots of different Benny's options. One of the nice things about Benny's cars is you get the uh, Benny's originals and the uh, Benny's bispoke. Yep, so these are the, uh, the other Benny's rims here. Some cooler, funkier designs. Some of them might be better for the Banshee or the uh, the retro Porsche, things like that. Or some crazy lowriders. <laughs> yeah, it's got a nice little uh, yeah, spoked out, nice super mesh going on there. Hmm. And any of the other regular tires too, if you wanted. Yeah, I think I might actually use one of the buy spokes because I don't get to use these very often. And I think it would well work well with this car. They're all very similar. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep to the silver. So it's all about that center. And that's the most detailed one, I guess you could say. The chrome classic wire. But I was also looking at the uh, bigger worm here. And the knockoffs. And the spoke dead. Yeah, I think we will go chrome classic wire. 47,665. <laughs> Only. <laughs> Alright, so Benny's can cost a lot for those extra options, but a lot of these you don't actually need to buy necessarily, of course. Oh, and you can color them a little bit. I thought being chromed out I couldn't. But no, you can color the uh, little bars on them. That's cool. So we could give it a little bit of blue if we wanted to, or white, or something like that. Probably going to just leave them alloy, or maybe black. But yeah, we are in midnight blue. Can do midnight blue on there. A slight detail. Yeah, why not? Why not? Slight detail. For 1,320. We'll color it blue. Now we can give it some white lines, white walls. 
retro white wall, red lines, blue lines, and the atomic. Hmm. Well, white wall actually would do all right on this, especially being that that back tire is mostly hidden. So it kind of makes it stand out a little bit more having the white wall there. And that would work too for the classic white walls and white lines. But I think I kind of like just a nice clean look with the atomic on there too. Yeah, atomic it is, I think. Although I really do like that uh, white walls. It's, it's tempting between the two of them. Yeah. Atomic for 5,000. Tire smoke. We'll give it some blue tire smoke. For only 10,000. <laughs> okay. Before we get into that interior, I'm just going to do that livery. Have a look at that. Classic blue pinstripes look great. Blue on blue. Just going to quickly look through them again. And sometimes you get some weird combination like using red on blue, although that's a little weird for me. Not quite right, but sometimes you play with the colors and you can get some funky combinations between the two of them. That is nice. But I think it's a little more than I was looking for. Although I should do some other lowriders in the future that have some more decal work like that, but I'm thinking of something clean looking, but something, some pinstripes, you know, like, or something, some kind of livery, not completely clean, but nothing too, too much detail like that. Yeah, the outline blue, or the classic white. Classic white almost has a tinge of white or yellow to it, I should say, almost. And classic blue. Hmm. It'd be almost nice if they had some simpler, just straight lines. But I think I might just go with the classic blue pin straight. Yep, yeah, 18,240, just for those classic lines. <laughs> Interior. All right. Trim. Ornaments, trim design. Trim design. Ooh. Luxury velour. Luxury leopard fur. Tiger fur. There we go. That might be better. Zebra fur. Luxury zebra fur. Luxury crocodile skin. <laughs> ah, crocodile skin is actually kind of nice. Hmm. So, back to stock. Yeah, crocodile skin. Leather striped. Yeah, it really changes. So the back bench changes completely between those. So leather striped. Leather striped leopard. Leather striped tiger. Leather striped zebra. Leather striped crocodile skin. Striped camel. Digital camel. And that's it. Yeah, and these seats have chrome on the back. Between those ones. When you get to the others, you do not have that. Of course, I think you can change the seating too, so. I did like the uh, <laughs> the crocodile skin, but I think this is a little nicer. Yeah, I think I might keep it clean though. Leather striped for forty nine thousand eight hundred fifteen. Thanks, Benny. It is beautiful. Trim color. So there it is in graphite already. Black might be a good way to go. We got to get to that secondary still too. Quickly going through the colors. I was thinking about a blue, whether I'd go with blue or black. I 
as a way of brightening it up or something like that. White's nice actually because it brings it right out, kind of matches with the uh, pinstriping a little bit. But uh, blue would do better, I guess, or the black. See if there is any kind of blues I like for that. Diamond blue is not bad. But it'd be nice if there was just a shade lighter. But maybe the darker way is the way to go. Something like the dark blue. Or the galaxy blue. Midnight blue again. And yeah, it's kind of nice because then it's got the black kind of look to it. And of course the midnight blue that matches the rest of the car. So I suppose midnight blue again. 49,000. Or 49,000. 4,900. Ornaments. Well, that's where it'd be our little little dude at the top there. Don't know if I'll get one for this one. Maybe I should. Hmm. Yeah, yep, it didn't reach. <laughs> I had quite often had our Grim Reaper on there to certain ones, but this car isn't very fast. <laughs> Maybe we should give it our Frank for it. <laughs> uh, go with the blue mariachi. Or a black mariachi. Yeah, maybe a black mariachi. Why not? Good luck. Yeah. All right, dials. So now you can change your dials and Benny's. One of the nice features in there. So we can do plain Jane. We can do flames. An old school skull. Sun god. Classic thirties. Rocker style, voodoo skull, plain Jane in the negative, so it reverses things from black and white from the first one, and flames in negative, and all these other ones that we just went through in negatives too. Hmm, and later on we're going to be able to change the colors too. So, I think those are an upgrade from the stock. A little bit better. Classic 30s, hmm, rocker style. I think I might go with the rocker style. Those wings kind of go with my pinstriping and everything. Otherwise, I was thinking about the uh, plain Jane and plain Jane uh, inverted. But I do like the classic 30s too. For this type of car. Yeah, plain Jane negative. Hmm. Okay, so rocker style or in negative. I usually do negative. Maybe we should make it stand out a little bit. White and blues in this one, so. Rocker style. 10,701. Steering wheels. There's our steering wheel there. So stock. Three-way. The toad. Street rod. Two retro. Greaser. Rockabilly. Old school cool. Vintage racer. Burnout. Got wood. <laughs> Restamod, La Bamba, Chain Link, Starry Eyed, Deco, Cruiser. Hmm. That's all of them. Those are some fancy ones, some wood ones, some nice silver ones. The burnout's not too bad. Some race ones that are nice, but I don't think this car is very race, so. I'm not going to give it a race one, I don't think, this time. That was a very mean enough to give it a chain link steering wheel. That rust mods not bad either. I'm actually thinking about that cruiser. Nice silver, simple, silver. Yeah. 12,852. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you got your money, <laughs> Benny. 
crazy prices in here. Column shifter levers. That must be on the side here. Yeah, eight ball. Eyeball. And the lucky dice, all seeing eye. Grenade, smoking. <laughs> Top of the morning. Tubo coop. King Lear. Old school Mike. Piston. Gem set. Six shooter. Pistola. Pisswasser pump. Hmm. Hmm. That's a hard one with this one. Mike's not bad with this one. Being a uh, stereo on wheels. The uh, pisswasser pump's nice. The white on it. Goes with everything else. It's very big though. King Lear. <laughs> that schmookin's not bad. I don't know if I had any dice used yet. I've ever had the dice before. Pretty sure I've used the eight ball before, but not the dice. Hmm. Let's see it from here. Yeah, hey, yeah. Maybe that dice is a nice little detail, you know, because I'm I'm going for nice and smooth, not too many details, right? So that's just a tiny little detail that sticks out there. So maybe it's good. Four thousand three hundred twenty. Blacks. So these are blacks for the back. I used one of those for the uh, for the slam van for the Benny's truck. So I don't think I'm going to use one of those for this one. But they have a bunch of different uh, different logos and types. And sometimes they have light up ones, yeah, neon that'll light up. Vagos and whatnot. San Andreas. But I'm gonna keep mine clean. Light color. I think that's back here, yeah. Silver. So I've got my sunglasses on, but that's okay. Shadow silver. Yeah, shadow silver looks good. You can go with a white. I was thinking about a blue or a midnight blue, but I'm not sure if that's too much midnight blue or not. They don't have a midnight blue. Hmm. Well, nautical blue's not bad. Yeah, the racing blue kind of goes with it. Sticks out quite a bit, though. But that's okay. Delta blue is not bad, but it stands out a lot. A little bit off color. The racing blue is a little off color, too, but I think it goes a little bit better than the other available choices do. So, racing blue it is. 2,250. Okay, that's all our interior. Really? So that's not too many interior options really guys usually you can change um, sometimes you can change your seating and things like that and it looks like on this one there's not too many seating options compared to other Benny's cars hmm. well, let's go to our respray to finish it up now our trim color We've already got that midnight blue from picking it the other way. And the secondary color. Cast iron silver. Yeah, even now it looks like that secondary color really doesn't change much on this car. Except for the interior. Hmm. Alright, so what goes with that interior? Well, a white wood, a blue wood, and a black wood. I think right off the top. Silver's not bad. There's our black, and darker blacks, carbon blacks, I should say. Not bad. 
I'm just gonna go through quickly to the blues. Huh. Midnight blue again? That's what I was thinking about. Yeah. I'm still happy with that because this one's got a lot of the chrome detail work all throughout here. And I wanted to keep that, so it still has that. I didn't set out to make it all midnight blue, but apparently that's what it's going to be. <laughs> it chose itself, as I often let them do. Okay, I think we picked everything. I don't think it needs a horn. Has no mirror options, no... Uh, a lot of options, really, are, are not there compared to other cars. That said, it still had quite a few options, though. All right, that's it. Thanks, Benny. Later, Benny. There she is. Our new cruiser. Oh, she's definitely got a lot more go now. That's good. Don't know if she can burn out like my, uh, like my slam van can, though. quite. She tries. She revs up, but she doesn't quite keep burning. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we can uh, raise up these. Uh, which one is it for that? Nope, not that. Nope, not that. There we go. There's our hydraulics and work. And because this is a muscle car, I think, yeah, we should be able to burn it out too. Like to uh, wheelie in, I should say. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Got the wheels off the ground for a second. <laughs> So, like I said, a low-performing muscle car. Very, very low-performing. <laughs> but she's nice. She's open. I can dry my hair in a vehicle like this. <laughs> yeah. Nice cruiser. Too bad I can't seat four. Just seats two. And see how he puts the iron beside. So, only certain vehicles will they do certain things like that. And the low riders are one of them when they've got an open top like that, or a convertible that's open. They can cruise like that and put your arm to the side. Apparently it doesn't work in first person. Yeah, see his hands in magically all of a sudden there. But it only works in uh, third person. And like I said, if I pulled up and everybody had the radio on in game, and uh, there we go, and I pulled up, they'd all hear the radio playing if I had mine on. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. That's, a, that's one of the fancy options about lowriders that some people forget are there or never knew existed, but they're not just a nice car, they're also a uh, mobile stereo system, you know. And some people don't get what that's the difference between a regular radio system and that. Well, it means you can make the radio play for people just walking around outside. Anywhere you put this car. If you have any friends to hang out with and do things like that. And it's a great kind of car to bring to car meets and things like that. You don't see one of these every day. They're, uh, they're definitely just for cruising. Go away. <laughs> Nightclub management, coming through. Let's put it in our new parking spot. A little bit of coffee. All right. Does she fit in? I think she fits in. Yeah, she fits in. <laughs> So with a lot of the Benny's vehicles, the one downside is that there's uh, so many different ways, you know, it's hard to decide sometimes. Like, I like to get that car in red, and I'd like to get that car in a nice black, like I said, men in black kind of style. And I'd like to have it in a nice uh, low rider, you know, chot low, low rider. Um, and then like, like this, like a nice uh, cruising, nice classic car. Nice, uh, I guess you could car, call it a uh, showcase car, a uh, car meet car. 
Yeah. But sometimes you'd like to buy many versions of them. I know my Buccaneer over here, the Buccaneer has a lot of great options outside of the way you guys see it right now. That's one of those cars that I wish I had a few of them, you know, a couple different Buccaneers. Maybe I should buy a few different Buccaneers in the future. I don't know. And a few of the Chinos. <laughs> but the Chino is not the greatest car in the first place. It's kind of funny to buy two or three of them. <laughs> but whatever you feel like spending your money on, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo. All right. I'm going to hit the highway, and thankfully it's got a nice little growl, too. You know, it's got a great sound there, if you guys didn't hear that already. Yeah, let me get away from the crowds at my nightclub there. And we'll listen to it start up again. See? Nice little growl. So she sounds good while she's driving. That's always great. And you can... Join hydraulic meets. <laughs> ah, we'll let him survive. I'm enjoying my new car. Only a minor scratch on the chrome there. It's okay. <laughs> I might scratch it again anyway. <laughs> but this is the kind of car I like to drive around and not do any scratches to. You know, kind of car that you take out and see uh, how far you can drive with no damage. Which is an actual stat in the game, too. Yeah, under your your stats if you ever care about that kind of stuff. It's kind of fun to play that. I'm so used to going off road, but something low like this can get scratched by the uh, by the curbs and stuff like that. If not outright stopped on a, on occasion. <laughs> oh, didn't want to do that. I wanted to go in there. There we go. Yeah, nice and open. Pedal to the metal. <laughs> Let's see. She actually doesn't perform as bad as I expected her to. But I think we've just hit about max speed right around now. Oh, no, we're getting a little bit more. <laughs> now we're going fast. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Not very expensive as far as Benny's cars go either. Yeah. A lot of Benny's cars are uh, end up being a million dollars. And I don't know, I'd have to add it up, but I don't think this one was. It didn't feel like it was. All right, everybody. Well, I think we'll be back soon. I'll get this one together, and uh, I've got to put that out. And uh, maybe I'll see if I can get uh, get another Banshee before the week's done. So it is the Lowriders week for those sales, 40% off the Benny stuff, um, and 30% off other vehicles that you can use at Benny's too, on top of that, like this Chino here at a double sale, in a sense. And uh, that's until uh, April 17th. Yeah. So you might want to get into Benny's before that's, uh, before that's up. And then we'll see what the next week's sale's like. And if you're outside of a sale and you're watching this, you can always uh, take it in. It's really not that expensive of a lowrider either. So it's not too much. We didn't save too much on those sales, I don't think. Maybe a hundred or two hundred thousand, but not very much really once you start grinding in the game. Yeah, it's got a good sound. <laughs> I like that. Very cool. And it's kind of a luxury automobile of a sorts from the 60s. You know, when it comes to luxury, there's uh, modern times that that's kind of broken up into three different paths. You've got supercars and things like that. And then you've got luxury um, that's like limousines and things like that. But that's almost defensive vehicles and uh, limousines and, you know, uh, limo slash Rolls Royces type things like that. But in between that, in between those kinds of things, supercars and limos, you've got things like uh, like this, highway cruisers, statesman vehicles, Bentleys, you know, some types of Rolls Royces, some types of Jaguars, yeah, things like that. They're great vehicles for cruising around. This looks like a nice spot to pull over. Should rise up, yeah. <laughs> there we go. 
All right, everybody. Well, I hope you liked the Gino. Hopefully, it gave you guys some ideas for your own Gino. You might want to grab those before the week is done or whenever you like, because like I said, not very expensive. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm the Muslim Sock. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks just for being here. Yeah, and thanks to all our Patreon supporters, too. Big help, everybody. <laughs> See you again next time. See you very soon. Maybe for a Banshee RR, or a Banshee 900 RR, we'll go get a Benny's race car. Hey, LJT here. You know that the length of your prison sentence is based on the quantity of cocaine you're caught with? Because at the moment, you're stockpiling so much changa, we can't even cut anymore. So sell some, quick! <laughs> Look what you made me do, LJD. <laughs> Alright, let's get in there. Penny's always cost too much for, for repairs. <laughs> Alright, guys, so just a couple of quick minor changes that I forgot to make while we were in there. Alright, so after thinking about it, and I do like what we've done, but I think I am going to change that blue. I forgot to go into our pearlescence, if you can believe that. So there's always something, it seems, for me anyway. <laughs> there's always something. So let's go into that respray here. And we're going to change that pearlescence, but it's probably not going to... Oh, it is going to let me. Yay. Sometimes it doesn't let you. Even after you have a metallic paint job, it quite often will make you pick another metallic paint job before it'll let you go into pearlescence. Sometimes it lets you, sometimes it doesn't. So by default, the Midnight Purple is racing blue pearlescent. But I think I wanted to brighten it up just a little bit. And I think I'm going to give it that ultra blue. Just brightens that blue just a little bit more. So, it's okay. We'll be making more money. LJT is all on us anyway, so 18750 for that. And I did want to adjust our tires just a little bit to wheels. And I forgot actually a uh, <laughs> bullet roof tires, an option. Yeah, 25000 for that. So I don't think we really need them, but you know, now we won't have to worry about anybody shooting out, to, uh, shooting out the tires on us. Now, the tire design, I do like the Atomic, but I was thinking about going with those white walls. Now, not the full white walls. So there's the Classic. They're not bad. And the Classic is what I'm going to go with. Retro is just a little too much, I think. But that still gives it some black uh, outlines. Yeah, it's okay to throw away a little bit of money. That's okay. That's what I make money for. <laughs> so the Classic white walls. Yeah. And then the last thing was uh, that plate. License plates. And even though I usually pick the uh, the yellow on black, I think this time I might pick. The blue is tempting, but it doesn't quite match the rest of it, so I think I'm going to go with the white and blue, because that matches with our white walls now and everything. Now, which one of the white? SA exempt? <laughs> San Andreas, I usually like that plate. But maybe we should go with the exempt, because it's a states statesman car <laughs> for the missing sock. Maybe not road legal. Hmm. All right, later, Benny. All right, now I think she's she's done. Sometimes you gotta go back in and change a few different minor things. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Have to go go to some car meets, <laughs> some lowrider meets. Maybe on some of those car sourcing missions, I'll pull up in this first and disguise my way into them before I steal the car. <laughs> I don't think it'll work, but we could try. <laughs> All right. So that's the last little modification at the end, but that's okay. I think it's a minor improvement. Yeah. Yeah, you have to drive around real slow for that arm to stay there. Real slow. <laughs> Juicing is for winners, friend. So what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm winning already, Brucey. I'm winning already. Brucey. <laughs> oh, that's, uh... Let's open this up. There we 
go. All right, it's looking great. And we can now see our liveries on the inside of that engine now too. Right there, along the side. Painted livery covers. Very cool. I was gonna say, see if we can shake her loose. <laughs> yes, the answer is yes, you can shake parts loose. <laughs> Terrible treatment. Great footage. Push it back. <laughs> ah, another fun thing about low riders. <laughs> All right, take care, everybody. I better go put this back inside and go make some more money. Pay for another low rider. <laughs> goes. All right. Nice looking car. Fits right in. Hey, keep an eye on them, all right? They're my favorite vehicles. I like that blue one. Dude, it's my new one. You can check it out. Don't touch it. <laughs> all right, keep your eyes open. Oh. Let me just come back here. I don't think he's really watching, is he? What are you looking at? Remember, no drugs on the job. <laughs> Take care, everybody. See you again soon. <laughs> yeah, maybe I need a security upgrade. <laughs> a security IQ upgrade. 